Rancher or tiller? Angler or pirate? If you're feeling indecisive, I'm Shailen Cotton, and I'm here at The Gamer to help you choose the best professions in Stardew Valley. As you progress through Stardew Valley, you'll begin to level up all your various skills, from farming to mining, foraging, fishing, and combat. Whenever you reach a new level, typically, you'll be rewarded with some new crafting recipes. But at level 5 and level 10 of each skill, you'll be presented with a choice. You must choose a profession in that skill, and the choices you make at level 5 will impact the options given to you at level 10. It can be a lot to contemplate, but let's take a look at each profession and which is the best for you. At farming level 5, you get two choices. Rancher, which will make your animal products sell for 20% more gold, and Tiller, which makes your crops sell for 10% more gold. On the surface, this might seem like a tricky decision, especially since animal products like goat milk sell for a lot more than a lot of crops. But since the real money maker in Stardew Valley is artisan goods, you'll want to turn all those animal products into goods that sell for way more anyway. This makes Tiller the better option by far. The real difference shows at farming level 10. If you picked Rancher earlier, you can choose between Coop Master, which makes your coop animals become more friendly quicker, halves the time it takes to incubate eggs, and increases coop animals' product quality. Or Shepherd, which alternatively allows your barn animals to become friendly more quickly, helps sheep produce wool quicker, and increases your barn animals' product quality. Between these two options, Shepherd is the better choice since wool will sell for much more than pretty much any egg. But altogether, these buffs are pretty unnecessary. By farming level 10, you're probably pretty late game, which makes incubation speed bonuses and animal friendliness buffs pretty useless. If you chose Tiller at level 5, you have some better options. Artisan, which makes your artisan goods sell for 40% more gold, and Agriculturist, which buffs the growth of your crops by 10%. Between these, Artisan is clearly the winner and the main reason why you should choose Tiller over Rancher at level 5 every time. Artisan goods are by far one of the most profitable items in the game, making the artisan profession a surefire way to riches. At mining level 5, you are presented with two professions. Miner, which gives you a bonus of plus one ore per vein mined. Or Geologist, which gives you a 5% chance for gems to appear in pairs whenever you mine a gem node. In terms of profit, Geologist is the superior choice, since gems sell for more. On the other hand, if you hit mining level 5 in early game, having those extra ores can go a long way in crafting, especially for essential items like quality sprinklers. If you chose Miner at mining level 10, you get to pick between Blacksmith, making your metal bars sell for 50% more gold, or Prospector, which doubles your chances of finding coal. Of these two options, Prospector is way better because coal will always be a necessary resource. Metal bars just don't sell for as much as gems, and really you should be using them for crafting instead. From the geologist profession, at mining level 10, you get some pretty good options. Gemologist, which makes your gems and minerals sell for 30% more gold, or Excavator, which doubles your chances of finding geodes. Gemologist all the way. Craft some crystallariums, throw some diamonds in those suckers, and boom, you're a millionaire. Geodes are cool and all, but you just don't know what you're getting when you open them. The only real reason to opt for Excavator is if you're dead set on completing the museum collection ASAP, to boost your chances of finding every mineral in the game. At level 5, you get two different foraging profession choices. Forester, which gives you 25% more wood when cutting down trees, and Gatherer, which gives you a 20% chance of getting a double harvest from forageable items. Gatherer is the better choice here not only because of the professions it opens up at level 10, but because in reality, wood isn't too hard to come upon in Stardew, especially if you're replanting trees as you're chopping them down. At level 10, if you choose Forester, you can opt for either Lumberjack, which gives you a chance to harvest hardwood whenever you chop down a tree, or Tapper, making syrup sell for 25% more gold. Unless you're angling to build a syrup empire to rival Mrs. Butterworth herself, Lumberjack is the better of the two professions. 
hardwood is a precious resource you'll always be in need of. After choosing the gatherer profession, at level 10 you can choose between botanist, which guarantees that forage items are always of the highest quality, and tracker, which shows you all the locations of forageable items, artifact spots, and panning locations. The botanist profession is just too good to pass up, particularly because it applies to truffles as well making every truffle you pick up iridium quality. That's 1,250 gold a pop. When you hit level five fishing, you have two professions to go for. Fisher, which makes your fish sell for 25% more gold, or Trapper, which reduces the amount of resources needed to craft crab pots. In the end, crab pots aren't too hard to craft, and pretty much anything you could catch in a crab pot won't sell for as much as most fishing rod catches. So go for Fisher here, and if you're hard up on crab pot resources, you can always use that extra fishing moolah to just buy crab pots from Willy himself. At level 10, the Fisher profession opens up two more options. Angler, which makes your fish sell for 50% more gold, or Pirate, which will double your chances of finding treasure chests when fishing. You can't go wrong with either choice, but it's worth noting that the angler bonus does not stack on top of the 25% sell increase of its first profession. Meanwhile, choosing pirate gives you a bigger chance of finding rare treasures like prismatic shards or even dinosaur eggs. If you went with trapper at level 5, you can choose between mariner, which guarantees that your crab pots won't catch junk items, or lure master, which makes it so that your crab pots don't require bait. It would be silly not to choose lure master. With this profession, who even cares if you do pull in trash? You don't waste any bait doing so. A total win-win. After fighting your way through enough slimes and bats, at level 5 combat you can choose between two professions. Fighter, which not only makes all your attacks deal 10% more damage, but boosts your max health by 15 HP, or Scout, which increases your chances for critical strikes by 50%. Fighter is so much better overall, but especially for the HP boost. You don't get very many chances to increase your HP in Stardew. Plus, Fighter guarantees 10% damage with every swing, while Scout only increases the chance of extra crit strikes. If you went for Fighter, at level 10, your profession choices are as follows. Brute, which increases your attack damage by 15%, and Defender, which adds 25 HP to your max health. Again, Defender is the best play here. The best offense is a good defense, and coupled with the 10% damage buff already gained from the Fighter profession, you can't go wrong. After opting for Scout, your level 10 combat professions are limited to Acrobat, which halves the cooldown on special moves, or Desperado, which doubles the damage dealt by critical strikes. If you're gonna go down this route, Desperado is the only profession worth taking. At least with Scout and Desperado combined, you have a greater chance of really packing a punch. I can hear what you're saying, but Shaylin, I already chose the Rancher, Forester, and Scout professions. So, am I just screwed? Fret not, farmer friends. You can unlearn your professions, but at a cost. Once you have donated 60 items to Gunther at the museum, he'll give you the rusty key that unlocks the sewers. There you can find the Statue of Uncertainty to swap your professions. It requires an offering of 10,000 gold to make the switch, but you can do this as many times as you want to your advantage. Now you're equipped with all the information you could ever need on Stardew Valley professions. For more guides and tips, head on over to thegamer.com.